everybody, it's a Week in Review. Today at Physical Education, we are doing Lipscomb Ninja Warrior Course. In the Ninja Warrior Course, we are working on speed, agility, and overall education. We are Ninja Warriors! Hi, I'm at Nolensville High School, and this week in AP Language, we're reading The Crucible. In fourth grade science today, we built terrariums, and we'll add fish, crickets, and woolly pulleys to create our own ecosystems. In order to better understand osmosis, we compared different potato cores placed in hypertonic, hypotonic, and isotonic solutions concentrated with sugar water to see how it would affect the masses. Hola! Me amo <laughs> We are at Mill Creek Middle School in Spanish class. We are making a action poster. Adios, amigos! Hi, I'm in Miss Davis's class and we're doing 3D printing. First you'll design it on the computer and then you'll download it to the 3D printer and that's what you get printed. We're in Mr. Moody's theater production class. We're learning uh, how to make hamburgers out of styrofoam and learning how to use the spray paint various tools. Today in Longview we are going to be making a first grade constitution. And everybody is signing it. In fourth grade science class today, we've been learning about photosynthesis. Today, in Friday morning meeting, we also did a play about photosynthesis. We are we have crabs and frogs in our classroom. We're really excited about it. Right now, we're making the habitat, and both of them are really different. Today at Fairview Middle School, we are using compasses to retrace our steps like people in ancient China did. Over there at the field, we have been putting down pieces of tape and using compasses to retrace our steps to figure out where we uh, came from. Today at Crockett, we are learning about text structure by going around the hallway and reading articles and finding out what text structure it is. Hi, my name is Troy Thompson and we're having Picture Day at Centennial. Did y'all get ready for Picture Day today? Yeah. Oh yeah. My mom made me. Obviously, I did. So, I just wore this. I think you look pretty spiffy. This is our group project that we made in social studies, and we learned about um, where the Aquare and um, Prime Meridian is at. And we learned the continents and the oceans. In Miss Cheney's class today, we're doing a character autopsy, breaking down the characters of the book, The Outsiders. We're out here at Fairview High School. We're doing the JRTC Bring the Sting today. We have people competing all the way up from Indiana down to Mississippi. Today in Miss Ellison's science class, we made a roller coaster out of foam and to try to make a marble make it through all the way using forms of energy. Today in ELA, we are doing a glow project. So instead of using boring words, like she went to the store. You can say she went to the store to get some food. That's a lot exciting. This week we are making the monsters based on genetics and we're using one allele from the mom and one allele from the dad to decide whether it will be a dominant feature or a recessive feature. I'm Color Guard. We are learning how to fold the flag and how to respect the flag and put up the flag and lower the flag. Today is a club fair to let everyone know like the clubs that we have at our school and just to get everyone involved if you want to be involved and to have fun. For Constitution Day, we had a guest reader from the Daughters of the American Revolution. Today in war class, we built catapults. I made this catapult, by the way. It's fun. That was Today in fourth grade, we made Potato Patriot. I made John Hancock. Then I made George Washington. Here at Spring Station, we have um, a new class orchestra, and I am really loving it so far. We're doing a still life, and we have to use it using black and white colored pencils, and it's very difficult because we have to draw fabric through glass. So it's a big challenge, but it's really fun. This past weekend, we started a new bedtime story series with our students on Twitter. Every teacher will read a new book each weekend. We hope that more students will tune in to Twitter and watch these bedtime stories on Sunday nights. Let us tell you about our Scale Spirit Week. On Monday, we showed our patriotic and camo. On Tuesday, we did tacky wacky. On Wednesday, we did Western Wednesday. Yeehaw! On Thursday, we did Team Thursday. Go team! This week at Hunter's Bend, we had our annual food drive to support needy families in Williamson County. 
All of these boxes are filled with food. Our entire school participated and we collected 9,442 items. Today at Grassland Middle School, Scott Mulvihill came and performed for us. He told us what it takes to be a professional musician and also how to achieve that goal. Today we did a reflection activity with a flashlight um, and it went bounced off a mirror and onto a green cup, which is the moon. Nash came to a Rocket Run kickoff party and it was so cool. We set up aquariums and, and terrariums and we are, um, we put mosquito fish, elodia, duckweed, and snails inside. So our fifth grade birthday celebration is today. We share it with fourth grade. Third grade is also doing the same thing. It's an opportunity for the students to um, write and publish and then celebrate their writing through the eyes of other writers and readers. This week at Renaissance, we chose our iLab groups. We introduced our projects to <laughs> the school and we interviewed um, potential group members. We're having our first Thompson Station Middle School pep rally. Woo! Today we are least our butterflies. Um, butterflies like oranges. Right now, there's a person that's teaching us about the Bill of Rights, and that person is from Washington, Washington D.C. Well, on Tuesday, we did the uh, Raptors Got Talent show, and we started off with 17 people, and then we went down to the finals, and I placed third, and it was a fun time. It has been a busy week here at Grassland Elementary. On Tuesday, it was Constitution Day, and we had ladies from the DAR come and read to first grade. On Friday, we had some members of the symphony come and play for us. The music was beautiful, and on Friday was our GES Fest night. It was a blast! Today at Trinity, we are learning about the life cycle of a caterpillar that turned into a butterfly inside. Today we went to Chikwood with Ms. Pruitt's Digital Arts 3 class and took a couple photos. Today we are making treasure maps and learning about rainforests. We are here at Chapman's Retreat Elementary School at Literacy Night to help promote reading around the school. And it's also book fair. This week at Walnut Grove, fifth graders are going to JIA Town. It is a place where we can learn how to spend and save in the economy. Check out um, Clover Cross Family Math Night and see how all the fun we have. It was a great week, thanks for watching. So today was voter registration at Page, and a lot of people came out. It was really cool to sign up to vote, which is awesome, because hopefully this generation is full of potential voters. We haven't really known much about how to go and register to vote, and since that it's come to us, it makes it so much easier and just more convenient. I think it's super important because the political scene is constantly changing, and I think it's important that the younger generations continue to register to vote so that our new opinions are also involved in the election process. We don't have to like go search and find for the place where we're supposed to register it, but instead it comes to us. I feel like we've been talking about voting and such for a long time in school, and now that we're finally able to vote, I feel like it's best for our democracy that we keep the tradition and keep voting. I mean, we live in a democracy, and it's really important that everyone participate in that, because when you do, it makes other votes matter more, because then we can all join together and really fight for the issues that we're passionate about. Tonight is our family math night. We have it every year. We've had it for about six or seven years. It's the most exciting night of the of the year because the kids come with their parents and we put out all different kinds of games and they can teach their parents how to play the games. This is what we do, it's called Family Math Night. It's where we have these fun games um, that involve math. Uh, there's a lot of games we can play and it's fun and it's like you learn new things and stuff. I really like to come to math nights because you get to estimate how much candy is in the jar and then if you get it right, then you get to keep all the candy and then you can play fun math games and you can like see your friends and stuff and it's really fun. Try to make a triangle. In the cafeteria, we have a lot of games that the children will play in their classrooms. We have base 10 blocks where the students are building towers and counting the value. We have the 24 game where they have to solve equations to find a target number. We also have some STEM activities in here where they're using tin foil to build towers. We have a giant number line where the students solve equations and they can hop on the number line. We have a paper airplane contest where they throw it and then they measure. And then they work their way into the gym. And in the gym we have tons of sports games. 
where the students can answer equations, find their score, and be a lot more active. He can do build airplanes and stuff. I just really love coming to math nights because I really like learning math because it's my favorite subject. So, and I feel like I can play like a bunch of games and that's really fun to me. And then the estimating is also one of my favorites. And then seeing my teachers, um, like my old teachers too, and also my friends. The kids come here very excited because they enjoy math. We really make an effort to make math meaningful for the kids and so that they understand and enjoy it. Today was our uh, lunch with a loved one for kindergarten through second grade. So we had grandparents and aunts and uncles and brothers and sisters all here just to have lunch with their loved ones. So it was a really special day. Here you get to have um, lunch with your little fairies. So we wanted to come down and have lunch and uh, me and her daddy wanted to come down and my dad came down as well. So um, he's over from England. So we just wanted to come down and celebrate it and dress up and mm -hmm. make it a big event. That's right. I think it's fun just because um, we give the opportunity during the school day for grandparents to be able to come, um, brothers, sisters, just some people that don't normally get the invitation. So we certainly have moms and dads that like to come, but um, especially out in this community, it's a very family friendly community. And so there's a lot of people that want to support their kiddos and we just want to give them the opportunity to do that. What's your yeah. favorite part? Um, eating with you. Eating with us? Oh, uh, yeah. I think the favorite part is just that parents and loved ones get to see what it's like to be at the school. Um, so many times that's where we kind of live every day and so we see exactly what it's like. But it's cool for them to get a glimpse to see how much we care about their kids. Um, that ultimately we all want the same thing and um, it's just fun for them to kind of get to see the behind the scenes look at what it's like to be in school every day. our first pep rally for 2019-2020! So we had a pep rally where we recognized our 8th grade sports players and the cheer team, the band, and the dance team all performed. Uh, we got to celebrate our student athletes and uh, have an opportunity to see those 8th graders who are in their last year with us in the fall sports. Everybody just has fun together so we all play games. We played rock, paper, sh scissors, shoot, where they laid out a bunch of hula hoops and you went through and tried to beat the person you were up against. Well, have an opportunity to have fun with your peers and um, be a little silly sometimes too. It's also really good for them to see uh, teachers and administrators participating and being a part of that fun as well. Uh, get to see a lighter side of us sometimes. Just everybody's really supportive of each other here, and it's kind of one big family at Mill Creek. At the end of the day, I want to inspire our students uh, to go on and do great things, and um, I'm just excited to be a part of that. I'm excited to continue on that tradition of like excellence in both uh, academics and, of course, uh, athletics here uh, that we've been established at Mill Creek. And we're Serenity LED, and we created this company with one problem in mind. We want to provide the best experience for you while we capture the greatest moment of your life. The app will automatically go through the list of ingredients and it will red flag it. Where we'll be offering natural organic ingredients in other varieties that you can choose. It will be an app on your phone that the parents can download, the teachers can download, the students and kids can download. Through market research, we don't have a single direct competitor that's doing the exact same thing as us. You're a part of something bigger. You have a message behind it. We're trying to spread love through everything that we do, and that is our passion. In the EIC, we're actually getting ready to form our own business and create a product or service or a business. Today was just a chance for everyone to give us an idea of what their, what their company will be doing and um, match us up with a mentor that will help us out. The opportunity for me to come in today and hear them about their ideas and what they want to accomplish was really exciting because one, I feed off of that energy, and two, I think there's a lot of lessons that I've learned in my career that uh, I can share with them to try to save them the bloody nose that they may get or you know, some of the, uh, the fear of rejection and how to help them overcome that. So it's really exciting. There were a few mentors that like, stood out and we thought that because what our business was and what we're looking for, they might be like, really helpful. But honestly, all the mentors are great and we'd be lucky to have like, any one of them in their years of experience helping us out. Because they have accesses to other people, accesses to resources, accesses to, you know, information that would help us in our startup. 
there's always someone who you have those questions like, oh, can I do this? Do you think this is okay? And they've already probably have done this. They have experience. They worked with other people and they can just help you. They can ask the guiding questions. You know, maybe something we're doing is a little bit outlandish. They can, you know, be like, hey, you know, maybe that's not the best idea. I want to start a round of applause for all these mentors that are looking really fresh out here right now. All right.